Hello, Cancerians. Welcome in. Welcome to your reading. Sending you guys so much love and light, Cancer. Let's begin this reading for you, Cancer. Someone rising in Venus. Someone rising in Venus. What does Cancer need to know, Holy Spirit? We have date. Meeting someone new. Setting a date. Dating online. Ascending. New face. Preparing for union. Okay, there's something here about learning and expanding spiritual awakening. That is what's happening, Cancer. Something to do with a home. You may feel like home to somebody. That is what I'm getting. Reconciliation. You have unfinished business here with somebody. Feel like comfort, safety for someone, unconditional love. This could be somebody that could be charming. Charming, being tested. There could be a person here, karmic, that there's a karmic and a soulmate here. Twin flame soul contract. Confessing and revealing of a secret. This feels to me like communication. Telling someone the truth. Saying the truth. Expressing something. We have player energy. Charming, manipulative, karmic. Spiritual awakening about an addiction or something that needed to end while in separation from you. Missing you, it says here, thinking about you. This person here is, it's, I feel like somebody could be in the self appreciation, healing, needing time to heal. It says here, sadness, bitterness, thinking about you, uncertain about the future. You're not speaking to this energy. This is someone who's in reflection right now, okay? Inner wounds, introspection, self reflection. Okay, they could be experiencing a financial set, something to do with their finances. Liberating, someone here feels liberated. Transitioning. It's a new beginning. It's a new beginning. Spiritual awakening, uh, awakening about a codependency, cancer, emotional blockage. Okay, someone here might have been in this possessive energy trying to possess or control a situation. We have back and forth baggage patterns, unfinished business. Receiving love. I feel like this is a person that has a lot of passion for you. Okay, there's a burning desire here for you. The mask is coming off. Hidden motive, concealing, lying, disguise. So the truth has come out about a person here who is not telling the truth, okay? Concealing something. It has come to the light. There's a proposal and relationship. It does say commitment here. And love, unconditional love, affection, attraction, burning desire for you. A lot of you are meeting, this, deciding to meet someone new. We have Leo and Aries energy. We have dating, meeting someone new. Affection, return, unconditional love. So many energy. Person could be seeing the truth about their inconsistency, unconventional ways in the past. What else does cancer need to know? Unfinished business, the truth being spoken about something that might have been concealed. That's what I said. Look, it could have been competition, five of wands. Chariot, victory. We have three people here. This is really interesting. We have Queen of Swords, King of Wands. Queen of Wands, three people, and the Seven of Swords. I said concealing. Something here is coming to the light. A confession, revealing of a lie, a truth. Three people here. Don't tell me no. The Queen of Swords typically someone who sees the truth. Okay, we have this truth energy. It's a feminine energy with a sword. Sees the truth about something that might have been concealed. Look at this. Emperor and Empress energy. Divine counterparts. We have soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, soul connection, past lives. With the Wheel of Fortune and Marriage here. Commitment. I think I channeled commitment. Unfinished business. Taurus energy. There's something here that has come to the light. Could have been a Queen of Wands here who had a hidden motive. If you notice this King of Wands and this Queen of Wands are not facing each other. They have their back towards each other. So, so there could be not something here. But you know we have divine counterparts. It's very different right? Very different. This is the divine counterpart, divine feminine energy, masculine in the wheel of fortune, destiny. Destiny at playing the truth coming to the light about the situation. This trio, I should say. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Look, an apology here. I want to work on this with you. 
Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups. This is an arrival, something you've been expecting. The Three of Wands. There could be a person at a distance here holding on to you. I'm going to leave these energies here. This is your card, Cancer. The Chariot is Major Arcana for Cancer. It is making positive forward movement. I see a masculine energy taking action, liberating themselves. They could be breaking free out of something. There could be travels here involved with this Wheel of Fortune. This is this Jupiter energy I have been talking about. Jupiter is direct in Taurus, as a matter of fact. Jupiter is direct in Taurus as of December 31st. We have soulmate energy here, union, belonging. The home, Cancer rules the fourth house. Someone maybe 38, 83, that's 11. That is 11, so it's a union. A new beginning, taking inspired risk here towards a connection. Okay, we have the three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. There's a soul contract here. I feel like someone could be, someone's really passionate, I feel. Fulfillment of wishes, emotional fulfillment. They're looking back. I feel like this is codependencies. Could have been with a third party here. It's looking back, Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, in regret. Some sort of guilt that they may feel about something to do with the past, about a Three of Pentacles, yeah, third party energy. I see somebody here also in this Three of Pentacles with this hair font, and I just made my candle make a sound confirmation wants to come in and have a new cycle with you a new cycle because we have a full card energy and again this could have been somebody here that could have been operating in this uh, not unconventional karmic operating in them not in the most um healthiest outlet i would say okay seeing the truth about this we have soulmates here two of pentacles back and forth unfinished business here three of swords and the magician this is somebody could have been back and forth here with a third party. At a crossroads in between, in between two things, okay? In between two things, Gemini, Virgo, and the Three of Swords. Someone, three, three may be significant. Six of Cups. Someone feels heartbroken, reminiscing, and I feel like this, this is somebody that's holding on, holding on. To something from the past the six of cups is memories reminiscing you know back and forth between you and someone and you know at a crossroads i feel okay someone here might have been manipulating a situation but again seeing the truth about a particular situation i said the mask has come off the mask is coming off this could have been a master manipulator Give me one more energy. Six of Cups is somebody here re returning back, thinking thinking about this, Eight of Swords. Six of Cups, reminiscing. We have Gemini energy, Eight of Swords, thinking about it. Pisces energy, thinking about it, Four of Swords. This person here is in contemplation of a connection with you. Yeah, a connection with you, Two of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Nine of Wands and the Ten of Wands. I feel like somebody here, the wounded warrior, someone that might have been guarding themselves, resistant, has finally completed a cycle of some kind, I feel, painful cycle. What is this Wheel of Fortune for Cancer? Jupiter, Nine of Cups, Cancer, wishes fulfillment for you. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries. Yeah, Leo at a distance, Aries, Sagittarius. Eight of Wands, Communication. We have the Strength card, Leo. This Three of Swords, I feel, is something that you're overcoming. Okay, we have the Chariot here. This is you overcoming, you or your person. And I channel liberation. Someone could be liberating, breaking free, taking action. Okay, breaking free. What is this Emperor and Empress here? We have Divine Counterparts that are not speaking. Two of Swords. It's interesting because it's the Two of Swords not speaking. And we have this communication, Eight of Wands. With the Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles. They're thinking about this. I feel like a person here is going through a very strong spiritual awakening. Okay, ascending, ascending, preparing for union. This is two people here, soulmate energy with the lovers. And we have these counterparts, counterparts. We, have, we do have reconciliation in this reading, Wheel of Fortune. 
six of cups is reconciliation seeing things gaining perception different a different awareness here about a situation there's a change here cycles life cycles look at this ace of cups here with the wish fulfillment okay cancer you know this is a new phase a new phase for you i talked about you reaping the seeds you have sown in the latest reading the last reading i did for you seven of pentacles this to me feels like a wish fulfillment aquarius energy this card's not censored We have Capricorn, see, seeing the truth about something karmic. Capricorn energy, seeing the truth, cutting out a karmic situation, nine of wands, ten of wands. Okay, because I've learned the lesson. I have learned the lesson. Somebody here abandoned. Look at this high priestess here with, look, two of cups, five of pentacles, high priestess and the queen of cups. There's a burning desiring desire for you. There's a lot of passion here. I see I see the devil here as passion, obsession. I feel like this energy might have left abandoned this connection with you. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. They abandoned a connection with you, Cancer. This person here could be watching you obsessively also. There's the truth here about strife, jealousy, and competition. Look at the justice card, Libra with the Two of Cups. I've learned the lesson. The Wheel of Fortune talks about life lessons, karmic lessons, a change. You're reaping something, reaping good karma. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning here, new face in love. Give me one more energy. The Six of Cups, Cancer. This person could be letting the past go or something here is returning back. Look, Four of Wands, you feel like home to me. The Ten of Cups, Reconciliation. Six of Cups is something coming back. Somebody coming back. Look at the, this Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. I said, this person here is heartbroken. We have that player energy in the reading. And I mentioned how somebody was in this, operating in this energy of un unconventional one-night stands, hookups. Look at them now. Nine of Swords and the Three of Swords. This is obsessively being haunted by their actions. Transformation. There's a definite transformation. Scorpio energy. Knight of Wands is the player in the tarot. Look at look at it here with the Three of Cups. I regret this. Truly, I regret this, Cancer. Because I'm being judged. This person is being judged. There's judgment. There's judgment here in a cycle here closing. I'm, I'm channeling correctly here. Ace of Cups has been showing in the readings for you. Somebody here feels restless, restless about this third party situation, breaking your heart, hurting you in some way, being inconsistent in and out of your life, operating in this devil energy. That is what I see, Cancer. Give me one more energy to end this reading for Cancer, Holy Spirit. Cancer, sending you so much love and light. This Ace of Cups, here's something coming in for you, ascending. Jupiter energy. Look, that is the Wheel of Fortune, this Jupiter energy. You have purged, released. You're in the self-love, self-appreciation energy. And by you doing so, you are in this attraction, setting your intentions, focused on the desires of the heart, self-worth, expansion, manifesting. And someone here feels guilty. That is what I see. We have Jupiter, Sagittarius, action, inspire, risk. Pursuit of passions, new opportunities, fortune. That is the wheel of fortune for you. Okay, there could be a person here surrendering, surrendering an emotional release, walking away, eight of cups. We have this Ace of Cups here, an emotional confession. Could be an emotional, an outpouring of, of emotions. Somebody who is in the Four of Cups, discontent, thinking about a missed opportunity with you. There's karma here for this energy. Karma. Somebody here feels, feels like they're being judged. I also channel someone taking action towards you, Cancer. Give me one more for this reading, Holy Spirit. Alchemy. This is transmutation. It's also reconciliation. Someone here was trying to manipulate a situation. We have manipulations moving on. Well, conflicts, but someone's moving on from manipulations. Between two people and two paths. I've been seeing this. Decisions. This is the Five of Swords feeling tempted and there's a reunion here reconciliation someone who could have been quiet for some time here give me one more energy temperance have patience cancer there's something here about things coming into balance look at this ace of cups with the ace of cups here summertime something this may happen during summer is a timing car 
new patterns. So it's a new phase is starting for you. It may happen during the summer. Trust and divine timing. We have a, a love offer, a renewal in love. Could happen around summertime. Transmutation. And we have the Wheel of Fortune again. Fate and karma playing a big role here. Reunion. Someone who might have been holding back from you and detached. Soulmate, faded partnership, past life connection. The past returns. The past returns. I have kept so many things from you. Intuition, high priestess, Pisces energy. I know we're meant to be. We have Aquarius energy and that is confirmation, 1111. This person feels like they know that you are their soulmate. You feel like home to them. Scorpio. Okay, transformation, transmutation. I'm looking at your social media. It could be a Capricorn. So this home energy, healing family issues around the home. This could be a divine feminine. Mother Empress, yeah, divine feminine. Outcome in this situation is favorable, Cancer. There may be a third party overseas near water, okay, that is receiving justice at this time. Scales are in your favor, Libra. See, there's an ending here, new beginning. New beginnings with a lot of passion. Big happy changes soon with a soulmate. I have kept so many things from you. That's what this person is saying. Miss your voice. We have second chance apology. Here it is. Reconciliation. Will you give me a chance very soon? Very soon. I feel like somebody here could be overcoming their fears and blockages. Okay. And that could be anything like that they were dealing with from the past or something that they're wrapping up at this time. Okay. Because we have this nine of wands, ten of wands. And two people here coming into union after being out in the cold. Silence between them with this high priestess. Okay. New beginning. Ace of wands for you. Queen of cups. Cancer, this is what I have for you for today. I'll be back soon with another message. Until next reading, Cancer, I'm sending you so much love. Please feel free to like if you did resonate with this reading. Um, subscribe. Love you all so much. Until next reading. Namaste.